Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com at NAMM 2019. And there's been a lot of resurrections going on this year, I've noticed. And one of the best ones that I've seen so far is High Watt Amps. And uh, you remember High Watt Amps, you know, in the 60s and 70s, a lot of the rock bands, especially the British ones, were using them and really had them on every stage. You see them in all the old pictures and stuff like that. And Darren over here is resurrecting the brand with a lot of new exciting things. He's going to tell us all about it. So, Darren, welcome to uh, welcome to NAMM 2019. Oh, it's been a long one. You can tell from my voice, right? You know, it's a. I've been doing a lot of talking. Um, this is the first time the brand's been united in almost 40 years. Wow. Yeah, uh, since the 80s, it's always been split, and two different parties were always doing two different things, and they weren't always what the original company did. Because really, I should take my hat off to the uh, original uh, designer that came up with the design, which is unique unto itself, Dave Reeves. I'll give him some credit here, and his builder, Harry Joyce, that he worked with who brought, uh, built these to military spec standard. So we took a look and I was always a vintage collector too of this gear and between everybody I brought back into the company, we voiced these things against the old product as best we can, of course adhering to new modern standards and try to build as close as we can to the originals. Now the original collectors are going to say, you know, you can never replicate it, so I agree. but. I would argue that we're as close as possible and we're reunited for the first time in 40 years and we're worldwide and we're also uh, about you know quality but also customer service. We're in every country, on every continent. We're back, that's right. it, yeah. And you also said the two magic words to me earlier that every guitar player, especially rock guitar players want to hear, you said more power. So, with well, that in mind. <laughs> we're, we're always known for, you know, we rate things at 100 watts. You know, when I came into running the company, I, we started to put them on the bench and I never really understood. You know, you get a lot more than a 100 watt head. We've been known to one of the things to be loud. But that being said, ultimately, the right package is what you need. So we brought in a lot, of, we've made more combos now out of our custom shop and UK designed overseas products. So, you know, we're doing, I want people to know that we're doing a lot of things that they want. A lot of people now want combos and something that's a good pedal platform. We've completely aimed at that over the last two years as we got a factory running from scratch, brought on the engineers, and studied this, uh, you know, our past so that we did it the right way. So I think we're also a new company in a sense because we're progressively offering models that weren't there before, especially combos. Exactly, which, you know, it's but all the rage. There's lots of power. Yeah. And if you're referring, we, we talked earlier, we have a 400 watt yeah. behemoth here that's our, you know, we quite have, you know, it's ready for market soon. We perfect, almost perfected because we're very picky. Uh, Dave Reeves had a 400 watt, but there's a little different. It's got uh, eight KT88s, which, you know, I can arguably say that we have 520 watts clean bass tube power without clipping. I can see the bass players just salivating at just hearing that right now. They're also going to get very fit, and I won't yeah. lie. Our stuff has uh, transformers to uh, cartridge spec, mm -hmm. and we even followed the company that we thought had uh, the knowledge uh, so that it would be as close as part as possible, but they're huge. So they're going to get fit moving this, unfortunately. Yeah. So, but we have 200 uh, watt models and 100 watt models that, if they're, you know, they can start out with the lower barbells sure. and then work their way up to exactly. the 100. <laughs> get your workout in, man. Yeah. So, tell us about this model that we got our hands on over here. Well, this is very interesting because I should say we brought on uh, so, uh, an engineer. Uh, Mike Fort in a Fort and Amplification. Used to work for another large manufacturer in the US. He's their design engineer, chief design engineer, and I'd say arguably one of the top 10 designers in the world. We needed new blood and maybe something from North America to mix with the English tradition. So one thing that we're known for is headroom and lots of it. Arguably, I'd say we were the original pedal platform because of that hair, but we didn't really offer a lot of things with extra gain stages. So we added four gain stages to a DR504 and ended up with um, the custom Super High 50. So basically, uh, we launched it when we had a placeholder, uh, well, we had it out as a prototype last year when we were max watt before we joined the trademark, we're high watt now, and all the, you know, all the metal players freaked out because of course. we're not really known for that. But this thing will go head to head with any metal amp. And ironically, they have a killer clean channel. Now they'll have to figure out what to do with that because often they're not looking for that, but you know, we give them both. They'll find it by accident. I, yeah. yeah, so, but it's military spec. So now you're getting a, an amp you can take on the road and grind out uh, 200 shows in a year with your band. And you know, the metal guys will be sure that the same 
the same durability that high watts are known for, but with the headroom and the clean sound is available with four gain stages that were never wow. there. Two channel, foot switchable control. So, you know, our stuff just doesn't break. When Roger Waters used it on the Austin M tour, um, the only time I ever got a service call, somebody dropped it from like 20 feet or something in the road case, and the chassis barely moved. But since we use post to post uh, and solid tube uh, uh, wiring, just one wire separated at the solder joint. So for the whole tour, not one, we weren't down once. It's great. So that's the durability you get. So if you want the, you know what we're known for is durability as yeah. well. Yeah, it's a quality, it's a quality road tested product, you know, so for so many years, man, so. So any, you know, um, I'm not sure what else to say except that uh, right now it's a clean slate in America. Soon dealers will be online and on our site because this is the show where we're acquiring those network and those relationships. So in the months to come, people need to check our website out. And just Which is? The oh, highwatt.co.uk. It's got a UK uh, root URL, highwatt.co.uk. Ultimately, we'll, the dealers will start to appear there in the United States, Canada, Japan, as well as the rest of the world, and they'll be able to find out where to buy. Wow, it's great that you're back, man. I really, really well, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, High Watt was there in the beginning in the 60s through the 70s. So we're arguably the same quality with the products everyone knows, but we're also progressively moving forward with high gain offerings, combos, and it's priced right. Well, can you see a, like a 70-something-year-old Pete Townsend jabbing his guitar into this one on the road now? We'd love to have it back. <laughs> But anyone else who wants to play that part, we got absolutely. what you need. Yeah. yeah. And it'll stand up and keep working. So Yes. Absolutely. So now if you jam your guitar into it, you know, twenty times, maybe you might need a small service call for the front panel, but you know, it'll what's, last. What's cool, you look around the booth, you got combos, you got all kinds of different sizes and stuff like that. So really, really uh, looking forward to uh, seeing more high wild products in the future. So Thanks for talking Thank with us. Thank you very much for coming sure, by. You know, sure. thanks for helping us get the word out. Yeah, yeah. And tell everybody we're back. For, together, worldwide, High Watt United. Excellent. All right, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com. High Watt Amps at NAMM 2019. <laughs>